So imagine that you want to join a Teams meeting and you have seen one of your meeting rooms is not being used. And then when you walk into the meeting room, you experience that somebody have already booked the meeting as you see down here on the console. So normally we would ask you to forward your invite, but that is not working when there is a meeting booked already since the exchange policy don't allow several meeting in the same meeting room at the same time. So let's use the proximity join instead. So I've brought my laptop into the meeting as you see, and now I can actually take my um, my Teams application here. I want to join the meeting, uh, my own meeting of course, so I can use the one touch to join. So I'm using my own application. It could be on my PC and it could also be on your Teams device or Teams application on your phone. But in this case, I would normally join with my computer audio, but it does already recognize that I have a Teams rooms in the meeting room. So it's nearby. So I'm gonna join with that one instead. And what it actually does that it takes my meeting from my PC and push it to the Teams rooms. And then I'm connected to the Teams meeting right here. So I'm connected in my meeting room already with a service up. That could be a different location. I'm connected with my uh, Teams rooms right up here. And then I'm also connected on my PC down there. So now I could basically just shut down the call what I normally doing is that I'm using this one for actually doing presentations already. So you can down, go down here and then actually use your PC device to make sure that you can present wireless into the Teams meeting. And then as you see on the console down here, then you would have the ability to change the layout. So depending on how you would like to see the layouts, always default in a full screen view. I rather like this view where we can actually still being able to see the people on the meeting room, the one that we are communicating with. And then when I'm done here, uh, or maybe if I'm done uh, sharing the presentation, I can then stop my presentation. There you go. And then I can disconnect from my PC. And even though I'm disconnecting from my PC, it will still be working on the Teams room. So that will keep uh, in the meeting, it will not disconnect. So just a short experience on how you can actually still being able to use the Microsoft Teams rooms, even though you haven't booked the meeting already. So it's fairly easy to go into the meeting room and use the proximity join, and then you're ready to have the great meetings on your Microsoft Teams rooms. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lars Bello, working at Take Data Maverick in the Nordics. See you out there. Bye.